We're gonna do top three myths on Instagram. And once you solve it, it will tremendously boost your profile. Let's get into it. This is where dreams are made up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. It's actually like super early. I'm ready to grind and I wanted to welcome you guys to my channel if you're new here. Currently, I'm in LA. And as we're here, I just wanna say, make sure you like this video and congratulations to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. So yes, if you wanna be the comment winner, stay tuned to the end. So today's video, we're going to talk about Instagram. On this channel, I talk a lot about social media growth, a little bit of background. My name is Jade and I'm an entrepreneur and I just help you grow on social media and make money from your business. So I'm out of breath just because I'm really excited to talk about this topic because I feel like there are misconceptions in regards to Instagram rules. So we're gonna break them today. Got breakfast. My dad's having a meeting. With today's video, I'm gonna get ready since we have a busy day. And of course, I wanted to talk about just like some common questions I get or just, just myths on Instagram. And I think that one of the things it was like the optimal time to post, which is a little bit <laughs> ludicrous because Instagram is no longer chronological. Therefore, people only engage or see a post when it's like recommended to them. Therefore, if your old posts weren't doing so well, it's most likely that the user that you just recently followed or they followed you is not going to be engaged, which makes sense. And I don't know why people are like, in their pants for posting at like 7 55 p.m but i usually post anywhere from like 3 p.m to 10 p.m which is super broad in the first hour it does make a difference but like long term like the best timing won't make a difference in like the four hour mark when you post it so that's my opinion i don't know what you guys think sorry i'm so congested it's not the best weather for me okay i'm gonna get ready and then um we'll come see you back in when i'm partly decent <sighs> all right we're gonna do top three myths on Instagram. And once you solve it, it will tremendously boost your profile. So the first myth was obviously posting time. It doesn't matter unless you really care about the first hour. Initially guys, you actually want to ride the algorithm and the algorithm takes time before it boosts a post or makes it go like viral or whatever. That's just my opinion. I don't think it matters. The second myth is business profile versus private profile. I honestly see better results either way. Like it doesn't matter. People are switching back and I get the idea that like it gives you more engagement. But for me, I actually use the data Instagram gives me to do something with it. Like I see like my results, I see my analytics, I see my saved. And from there, I look at it, the data and I create content around it. So people, I feel like don't really use the analytics analytics to their potential they're just like cool numbers but like you can take the data doesn't lie it'll tell you what people like and what they're typically going to engage further on all the analytics and data does will give you insight on what to create next it gives you a prediction it's like probability if you're into like math or whatever i don't know so yeah i don't see a huge difference i like the analytics but i understand that you guys want more engagement i mean that's just the whole thing everyone wants but like it's like it you get either or like you can just go for a private or personal profile and just live with whatever you god just post whatever feels like it but with data it won't lie so the third myth is this is just my personal opinion don't get offended i don't think shout outs work okay you can't just do a screenshot of someone's profile well i've learned this before when i did it like you just can't do that people don't give a I really recommend you guys to stop doing shout outs like that. Do you know how many DMs I get every single day? They ask people to shout me out or like do something for me. And it's like so insane. And I understand like it's how you start friendships, but like in real life, you have to give value first before you ask. So I don't think shout outs work. I think more of an influencer marketing campaign like the Target ad or like a advertisement when people come together and make a content that's valuable. Too many people collaborate for the wrong reason, just for growth hacking. That's a benefit, but ideally you should keep in mind personalities and ways you can actually help each other, okay? Not just for the followers. I've learned that a lot. Like I know I made a video on like Instagram growth and like collab, but I forgot to mention that don't collab with people who are, have no relevance in your niche or are not even the same size. Like if Kendall Jenner wants to collaborate with you, great, but don't go DM her and get mad when she doesn't like reply because you guys are in separate industries, separate size, and like they don't think about how it benefits the audience. So those are my top three myths. I'm gonna go eat my orange for breakfast 
this and drink some water. <laughs> but if you want to be the next comment winner, can you comment below just a myth you want me to like bust or a question you had? Also, if you once you do that, because you probably have questions for me in general, what do you eat for breakfast? <laughs> I don't really have much of a palate. I only could cook avocado toast and oatmeal, but maybe I should do a cooking with Jade show because I'm cook. So I'm actually gonna have lunch with a girl from LA. She's a producer. And then after that, I'm going to have a shoot with some friends from Newport. And then after that, I have an eyelash extension appointment. So if you wanna see part two, just click below. I'll probably link it somewhere. For now, I hope this is valuable. Guys, there's more. Okay, so I'm staying in Hollywood Hills. We're up in the hills. And right over there is the Capitol Records building, which is, if not the, one of the biggest music companies. And I just thought here, since LA is where dreams are made, and my friend Michelle is a singer, I thought it'd be fitting just to give them some love. Guys, literally, I don't ask for much on this channel. If you could just right here in the description box check out his new music video it's a cover of god's plan it was so high production i was blown away and he's from madrid like guys if you want them foreign boys i know some girls are out there looking for michelle will be linked below super cool he's, he's a close friend of mine so it really means a lot to me and him go subscribe to michelle michelle i hope you make it there i will see you on capitol records soon but yeah it's honestly super inspiring to be here in la this is where dreams are made up, and I give you the permission to go after your dreams as well. Have a great day, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me, and I really appreciate it. Mwah.